Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new Monday Blu-ray shopping trip. That's right, we're going to go out. I've got my list which we'll go through in a minute. Going to go out, check out HMV, CEX, all the usual lovely places. Uh, a couple of charity shops and that kind of shit. Plus also we're going to have a look in as Dong at Canterbury. Although it's at like half past nine now, so by the time we get to Asda, it's going to be about one o'clock. And I know what the staff is like in that Asda. <sighs> they probably don't get up until about half eleven. So whether we see anything on the shelf is going to be 50 50. Anyway, uh, before we get going, uh, if you're new to the channel, yes, I'm going to start doing this now. If you're new to the channel, like the video, give it a thumbs up because it all helps the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> There's you all thinking it sounds like the end of the video. <laughs> yes, don't forget to subscribe. I looked through all the um, uh, analytics. I don't know who she is, analytic. I've never heard of her. Uh, but uh, it appears that of my almost 8,000 subscribers, I know, 8,000 nearly, only half, just over half, are subscribed. So if you're one of the very few that are not subscribed, why not subscribe? Yes, you get all the notifications. Oh, yeah, um, and to get the notifications, hit the little bell. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get on with seeing what's out this week before we head to our destination, which will be the city of Canterbury. And now you are in receiver position. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. Okay, so today is Monday the 27th of June. We do have a lovely list. Not that we're going to get to see everything that's out today. Of course, there are two biggies. Pardon. The first biggie is Morbius. Yes, I know a lot of people are probably thinking, oh God, is that out today? But I have actually haven't seen the film, so I can't judge it. It looks good. Whether or not it is good, that's up to me. <laughs> but yes, we have the Blu-ray. Uh, we have the lovely 4K, which is very unusual artwork completely different from the blu-ray so i'm looking forward to seeing what that looks like in person and also if it has the lovely cardboard slip cover <laughs> there's also a 4k steelbook as well i've already had a delivery of that so i won't be picking up morbius for myself from the shops but i might be picking it up as a giveaway but you'll have to stay tuned to the end of the video we also have ambulance yes i've ridden in one of them before <laughs> Not quite like in the film, though. <laughs> uh, so we have the Blu-ray. Uh, we also have the 4K. And there is a 4K Zavi Steelbook as well, uh, which is supposed to look like the back of an ambulance. Well, what else have we got? We've got some TV out today. The Umbrella Academy, season two. I never finished season one. I only got about halfway through. Um, I, I do remember there was a talking monkey in it, though. <laughs> So maybe I'll go back to it. Uh, we have a couple of uh, Ultimate Collectors 4K Steelbook sets, including Batman Begins. Uh, we have The Dark Knight. And we also have The Dark Knight Rises. They look very nice. Don't know if I'll be grabbing them. I've already got Steelbooks and 4K of Batman, so I probably won't bother with those. Uh, new from 101 Films, we have a film called Rock and Roll High School. I wish my high school was rock and roll. I'd be getting down and boogie in. Uh, new from 88 Films is Mardi Gras Massacre. That don't sound too good, does it? Uh, there's a, a documentary called Enio, or Enio, uh, Morricone, all about his, uh, pardon me, career and uh, all the music that he's done it over the years. Uh, we have on Blu-ray Appointment in London. Uh, for, we can't, oh, a couple of Criterions. That's right, a couple of the old posh ones. We have Shaft. Yes, who's been shafted? 1971 version. Uh, we also have a film called Black Girl. Okay. Uh, new from Network, we have A Spanish Fly. <laughs> zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> Unlike the bee, yes. Unlike Man vs. B, which I'm watching at the moment, which is very funny. Uh, we have a film with Oscar Isaac called The Card Counter. Uh, we have some anime called Bell. Bing! And we also have 
Bisping, Bisping. Uh, a story of Michael Bisping, UFC middleweight middleweight champion. That sounds like a barrel of laughs, that does. Anyway, so there is our list. So uh, we're not going to get to see all of that. But uh, I did have a look on my CEX uh, for Canterbury. And it seems a load of people, or what maybe one person, has actually bought in a crap ton of 4Ks. So we'll go and have a look. I don't like being over here. I've got to move you. Hang on, I've got to move you. There you go. You're in a better position now. Yes, you can see all of this loveliness. <laughs> right, okie dokie. So let's get on the road. Let's get over to Canterbury. Let's go to our first stop, which is going to be... HMV. Oh yes, baby, I remembered my bag. Let's do it. Okay, so car parked. Not too many people here today, but it looks like there's quite a few people driving into the city. So uh, let's uh, go to our first stop. It's a lovely HMV. Go and have a look, see what they've got. Always show me that physical media, baby. Good year, good morning. Where are we going? We're going down to zero. Silence. Nothing like Linda, is it? Oh, well, she speaks. Okay, so we're at our first stop here, the HMV shop. Let's go in there and see what they've got this week. Okay, so just coming through the door, there's lots of lovely Batman goodies. Everything from the Blu-rays and the DVDs, T-shirts, we have floor mats. And we have little plushies as well and DVDs and books and all sorts of shit. Here is a little uh, Stranger Things section. Lots of t-shirts, Stranger Things. Probably haven't got my size so I can only browse. <laughs> Boo hoo. Anyway, uh, here is another Stranger Things section. We've got cups, we've got books, uh, we've got clocks. Uh, we have 11 figure there and we have this weird thing, whatever it is. Yeah, whatever that is. Very nice. What else have we got? Um, here's the, the new section. So here is Morpheus on Blu-ray. Nice cover. No bleeding slip cover. Bloody typical. £14.99. And down here, what have we got? Let's have a look. Oh, yes, here we are. Ambulance. This is on Blu-ray and it comes with a slip cover. Make your mind up. Slip cover, no slip cover. Slip cover, no slip cover. Oh, dear. And here we have a bell. Ding! This is like an HMV exclusive cover for £15.99. Nice bit of anime there. And beneath it, we have the Oscar Isaac film, The Card Counter. I couldn't find the Blu-ray. I could only see the DVD. Here is Morbius on 4K. It's a weird cover. I don't know if I like it or not. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, down here, we have Giant with James Dean. This is the 4K that was out uh, a week or two ago that I missed. And we also have the Umbrella Academy, the uh, complete second season for 19.99. Again, slip cover or no slip cover. The first season has a slip cover. Uh, here we have Lucifer. It's a new series release on uh, on DVD. And here we are, Enio or Enio uh, Moacone, uh, a documentary about the composer uh, of the Untouchables. That's very good. And we also have Shaft, the Criterion edition. Very nice, colourful. £26, I think that's a little bit expensive for a Criterion. Uh, but we also do have this Rock and Roll High School from 101 Films in a nice thick box. And it's only £15.99. That's the proper price for it. Not £25. Uh, up here we have Ambulance on 4K. Very nice cover. I think I prefer this over the Steelbook. So I'll probably pick this one up. £24.99. Uh, pardon me. And here we have Black Girl, which is another Criterion. And this is only £17.99, so yeah, that's probably about the right price. Uh, we have lots of Star Wars figures in here, uh, including Grogu there. We have uh, Attack of the Clones. And we have the Book of Boba Fett. Yes, we have Fennec Shan from Boba Fett. It's the first time I've seen like the Kenner Boba Fett figures. Down here we have a rather large Mandalorian figure, so that's pretty good. Very good. I think there's quite a few of these large ones around. 
larging it up. And we also have uh, some of the Black Series figures as well. Very nice. I'll tell you what, it wasn't warm when I came out. It's getting really warm now. And I bought a bloody coat, typical. That's because the weather forecast said it was going to rain. Anyway, I picked up some goodies from HMV. Let's go to our next stop. Let's go to CEX. Okay, so as usual, let's pop in CEX first and then uh, the British Art Foundation. Uh, this is going to be one of two British Art Foundations because I'm going to do the big one in Dover as well later on. So uh, let's go and have a look in CEX first. Okay, so first thing I'm seeing in here is a lot of Bond. Quant uh, Quantum of Solace there. We have, uh, we have Spectre, we have some Skyfall. Uh, we have uh, For Your Eyes Only, so somebody's offloaded all these Bond films, including The Living Daylights as well and Golden uh, Golden Eye. Plus also No Time to Die, which is £10 now for 4K. Here we have a couple of these uh, Avatar Extended Editions, pretty good. Good quality as well. Uh, and down here we have Assassin's Creed on 4K. Not seen that film yet. I do have the Blu-ray for it. Uh, we also have Angels and Demons on 4K. And here we have uh, Anna and the Apocalypse for £6 with a slipcover. I do have this, I'll be watching it at Christmas time. We have some American Horror Story there, a couple of seasons. Uh, we also have Creed there and Creed 2 on Blu-ray. Uh, and over here we have Dunkirk on 4K, brilliant film. And what else am I seeing here? We have A Dog's Purpose. Uh, yes, that's the Wii on the floor. <laughs> Cobra Kai, now down to £8 for uh, a couple of seasons there. We have uh, Grease for £18 on 4K. And down here we have a Green Mile uh, on 4K as well. Gladiator on 4K, so yes, a few more 4Ks. And here we have uh, The Last Jedi. It there. Uh, we have some Solo, Rogue One. Uh, some split and we also have scream on 4k here we have true blood i think this is the first five seasons for 20 pound i think there are seven seasons in total so yeah probably won't pick that up uh, we also have a lone season here seventh season for 10 pounds as well and uh, here we have the new world uh, for three pounds and we also have the revenant on 4k brilliant pitch quality on that and the licorice pizza for 12 pounds with the uh, the slip cover Okay, so we're uh, into British Art Foundation number one. Let's go and have a look. Again, they do have some Blu-rays. Uh, they have the Ultimate Rambo collection, so that's pretty good. Uh, some Fast and Furious. Uh, we have this uh, X-Men collection. Looks like it's a foreign uh, import. Still factory sealed, though. Uh, we also have uh, Das Boot. <laughs> yes, uh, that uh, looks like a German import. Plus Joker with a slip cover. Many of these Blu-rays are about $4.99, which I think is still overpriced. Sabotage there, we have some Toy Story. We have the Kingsman, the Secret Service, 4K, and uh, the other one for 10 quid. And um, we have this Realm of the Damned for 10 pounds, a German release uh, with a, um, it's wrapping still intact. Okay, so I'll pick something up in the British Art Foundation took a chance on it because I have no idea what it is but it looked collectible I'll tell you about it later on but uh, let's go into our next stop let's just pop into the cancer research and have a look see if they've got anything they don't usually have many blu-rays in there it's just usually dvds but we're going to have a look anyway okay so they do have some blu-rays in here uh, they have some Thor uh, that looks like they have all of the Maze Runner movies including the Scorch Trials and uh, what is it death uh, the death cure as well uh, they also have I Am Legend. They have the first season of Derek on Blu-ray, which I would buy, but the rest of the seasons are in DVD. So if I could get it all in Blu-ray, I, I would pick that up. Uh, we also have uh, Captain America there and uh, Oblivion. And uh, what else we've got? We've got some Scarface and X-Men there. So, okay. Okay, so yeah, they had a few more Blu-rays than they normally do in that one. Uh, they did have Derek on Blu-ray, which I was tempted to, but then again, the rest of the series ain't in Blu-ray, so a bit, a bit silly just picking up one season for two quid, or one series, because it's an English one. But uh, let's go to our next stop. Let's go down to the American shop. I feel like getting some American candy and a can of American pop. God damn it, boy. I almost walked into that post then. Only an idiot would do that. Do you know the line? Oh, okay. Let's go in the American candy shop and buy 
acid sweets. <laughs> that is such a shit American accent. Oh, I want some Fruit Loops. Well, miss, I guess I'll be on my way now. You just give me a... Okay, so we are back to the car. I've picked up quite a mixture of stuff so far. I've got three things from HMV, one thing from British Heart Foundation, and three things from the sweet shop, the American sweet shop. So uh, a bit of a mixture today, well I'll show you what they are later on. Uh, I'll just say that those three items from the sweet shop cost me £17. <laughs> but I really wanted them, so why not? You can splash out every now and again. Who cares if we're in a recession or shit. Anyway, uh, let's go to our next stop. Let's go down to... I can feel my face going... As <laughs> Let's go and have a look. See if they've got out of bed and see if they've stocked the shelves. The lazy gears. Okay, so we're down here at our next stop. As done. So let's go in and have a look. It's half past 11. There's a good chance there's no crap on the shelf. But we'll go and have a look. Okay, so down to the entertainment section. Hello, oh, look, I can see the trolleys. So they've just started to put them out at half past 11. There's probably nothing on the shelf. Let's go and have a look. Oh, we've got Morbius up there. Morbius is on the shelf. Licorice peach are there for £15. Still got shark bait. <clears throat> I probably will pick that up, but it's only still £7 at the moment. What's this? <clears throat> Narco Sun. They do have a nice little stand up here though, <clears throat> for Morbius, including the Blu-ray, no slip cover obviously, and we also have the DVD. And the Music Magpie section is pretty much non-existent for Blu-rays. Uh, DVDs, they still have a few, but Blu-rays, I think that's it, one day. Okay, unfortunately, looks like they've only just started stocking stuff up. They had huge containers right up to here. Uh, they've managed to put out a few Morbius, but nothing else, no ambulance. So, uh, yeah, it's probably not best to come over here on a Monday on release day. It's probably best to come over here on a Wednesday. Over in the toys section, they've got some little Disney Pixar Lightyear cars. Oh. Socks, just because he's got a picture on a car. How much are these? Are these like 13? No, not 13 pounds. They must be three pound each. Pop vinyl figures, we've got some Eternals, some Pokemon, more Eternals. Uh, and they have these little figures here. I've not seen these before. These are like little Funko pocket pop chain. Four pounds each, pretty cool. Did anybody remember in the old cinema days, you used to get like these, I mean, this is a, je this is a jelly, I think, uh, but you used to get like Kiora in these little pots with a little plastic straw. Okay, so out of Asda, I've got the air conditioning on because it's uh, turned out really warm again. It's turned out nice again, isn't it? <laughs> yes, um, <clears throat> I think it's probably a good thing that we don't go to Asda here in Canterbury until at least Tuesdays or Wednesdays. That's the only problem with going over here on a Blu-ray Monday is that unless you get here about four or five o'clock in the evening, you're not going to get to see a lot of the media. I mean, they did have Morbius, but as you saw there, there was huge containers on the floor. There was two ladies starting to put stuff on the shelves that looks like there was a lot of media that was going to go on those shelves so uh, we don't know what dvds there might have been you know what cheap seven pound dvds some new ones so yeah i think um any time that we come over here to canterbury and go to asda i'm going to make sure it's not a monday but a tuesday or a wednesday so i wasn't going to hang around in there because it's probably going to take another couple of hours 
for them to put everything on the shelf. But I remember back in the day, we would go out Blu-ray hunting on, on a Monday. I'd be down Westwood Cross at Sainsbury's and Tesco's and the, sh the shelves would be totally stocked. And this is like nine o'clock in the morning. So yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, it's good that as to still selling physical media because this is pretty much the only supermarket that is. Um, I know Morrison's have a, a few bits and pieces, but Tesco's and Sainsbury's is pretty much done. So for now we've got Asda, so we've got to be thankful for that. Uh, but uh, there is a, a media section over in Folkestone's, which I do uh, visit from time to time. But I never go to Asda at Folkestone on a Monday, so they've always got new stuff on there. So we'll remember that. Next time we come down here, it won't be on a Monday, and then we'll get a, a good chance of seeing what's on the shelves. Right, okay, so anyway, we did our, done, we did, uh, yeah, that's what I was, I was going to say that. <laughs> we are done over here at Canterbury now, so let's get back to Dover. Um, I need to go to St James where my Cineworld is. I need to pick up a couple of packets of M&Ms for me, Papa Bowman and me Auntie, uh, Auntie Chris, uh, Auntie Bowman, uh, because we're going to see Elvis finally tomorrow. Um, also going to check out the last shop today, which is going to be the, the big British Heart Foundation in Dover. So we'll go and have a look, see what they've got. So, yep, let's get on the road, on the road again, back to Dover. Before we get to our last stop, I just had to stop to put some diesel in, 196.9 I think it is. And I thought I'd show you McDonald's. This is the McDonald's in Dover that's been closed for the last two months. Um, yeah, it's the only McDonald's we've got in Dover, so we ain't having a McDonald's. <laughs> so if you want something fast food, you've got to go to KFC or Burger King, because they've been doing all the, uh, the car park and uh, uh, doing better drive throughs As you can see, you've got some diggers over there as well. So hopefully it'll be up and running as soon, because, uh, yeah, I miss having a McDonald's in Dover. OK, so let's go to our next stop over here in Dover. So let's go to the British Heart Foundation. I want to show you something afterwards as well. Uh, a new kind of redevelopment in our market square. I want your opinion on what we should call it, but I'll show you when we get there. But first of all, British Heart Foundation. Okay, so into our last stop today, British Heart Foundation in Dover. Let's go and have a look, see if they've got any new media. Okay, so yes, we have some Blu-rays up the top here, including a Gladiator with a slip cover. Uh, we have uh, The Great Rift. Uh, we have some Man of Steel there. Uh, a lot of these were the ones that were in previously. Last time we came in, and Arthur there, yep. Uh, we have this weird thing. Uh, free DVD set uh, in the children's DVDs. Over here on the uh, the main sections, uh, just having a, a quick browse through here. So we've got a bit of Bruno. I can see some Conair there. Uh, and Into the Sun with Steven Seagull. <laughs> um, what else we've got? We've got Creep. Uh, we have uh, Goodfellas with a snapper case. Uh, we have uh, uh, Actors Wanted. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, we do have uh, a train spotting in a, in a dual case. I did check. There's no disc. So that's why I've left it there. Uh, departed there. Um, just your usual stuff, unfortunately. OK, back in the day, in our market square, we used to have a fountain. But people used to put foam in and it would all foam over. So they decided to redevelop it. And they've put these weird arch things. So... I need some names. What are we going to call them? Okay, so apparently we are going to have like little water fountains all the way along there. You know, like the ones that you get in the Disneyland parks where kids can run through them. I don't know why in Dover. Okay, so I want some possible names. What we're going to call that? I've got two options. Stargate Street or Cockpin Road. <laughs> Stick down in the comments if you can come up with something better. Okay, I just had a quick look in Scope, the charity shop. Nothing in there, but here's something. Can you guess what Scope used to be called? I'm not saying it or typing it. <laughs> because it's not really, uh, it's not something that you should be saying these days, but you'll probably remember what Scope used to be called. 
Yeah, I know. How long have we been waiting to get out there? Probably about four years. By the time we get out there, we'd have been bloody invaded. I can't remember what it is now, I've forgotten what it is. It's a chocolate, double chocolate frap. I don't know how you're supposed to get the cream up. There's not exactly a spoon. Mmm. Very nice, very refreshing, very creamy, very chocolatey. Okay, gonna eat this, drink this, whatever this, and then we go home and I'll show you what I picked up today and uh, anything that's been delivered. Mm. Okay, so back home, yes. Before we get started with uh, what I've had delivered, what I've had, what I've had picked up, what I've picked up, just a reminder. Oh, nearly dropped it. Uh, that I will be drawing the lucky winners for both of these. Uh, so you've just got today to get your entries in. Uh, go back and watch the previous uh, Blu-ray hunt. And uh, you can uh, find out how to enter. But uh, yeah, these will be drawn in the next day or two. So look out for that. See what lucky winners are going to grab it. Before we get on to the actual movies themselves uh, and the media... Uh, I popped into the American candy shop um, where well, I picked up three items. First thing I picked up, where is it? I'll share this with Papa Bowman tonight. I picked up one of my favourite American chocolate bars. Baby Ruth. This is like a two-piece bar. Bends in the middle there. So two bits of uh, candy, candy, candy. <laughs> yes, I love this. Uh, this is like peanut butter, isn't it? It's dry roasted peanuts, rich caramel and smooth nougat. I've always loved the Baby Ruth. I think this is probably one of my favourite American chocolate bars. That and the Hershey's. And not the English shit that they did a couple of years ago in the petrol stations. English Hershey's don't taste anything like proper Hershey's. So yes, Baby Ruth. So I will be sharing that with Papa Bowman. I don't know how much this was. It's got no price on it. Um, also, I saw one of my favourite drinks. Let me put this down because I want to talk about this. Fizzy drinks. When it comes to fizzy drinks, I'm kind of cutting down on fizzy drinks, you know. Uh, staying away from a lot of like uh, Dr. Uh, Dr Pepper, Diet Pepsi... Diet Coke, because I figured maybe the acid or the fizziness was a, a contributor to my stomach problems that I've had, but I don't know, because I have had something fizzy in the last day or two, and it's it's done nothing, but um, I am cutting down, so I'm not having as much as I, I, I did, but I saw this and I had to buy this, um, this is A&W Root Beer. Uh, but what makes this different, I don't, I'm don't. i going to test this tonight, this is actually caffeine free because I tried to stick to caffeine free fizzy drinks and caffeine free coffee and caffeine free tea. Basically, I'm cutting a lot of caffeine out because I thought that might be my stomach problems as well. So, yes, this is A&W caffeine free free root beer. So I'll definitely be giving this one a try. Uh, when it comes to root beer, A and W is the best. It's A and W really or nothing. Um, oh, bloody hell, the amount of sugar in that. 43 grams in a can. <laughs> bloody hell. <laughs> okay, that might be just a one-off then. Yes, um, it's, it's an acquired taste, root beer. I mean, if you go to America, root beer is everywhere. You get root beer floats and there's nothing better than going into like a burger bar and having a nice, cool, ice cold root beer in a glass with a straw. And I I really miss doing that in, in the UK because we used to have uh, an American diner in Ashford 
kind of like a train sort of thing, a, an old train. I don't know what you call it. It's, it's like an old and American diner. And they used to do everything American in there. Um, even the food. But yeah, uh, and I used to get root beer. So uh, it is an acquired taste. It's kind of, some people say it tastes like mouthwash. Some people say it tastes like aniseed. Uh, but for me, this is my preferred drink um, next to Diet Dr Pepper. So yeah, I love A&W root beer. So I will be giving that one a go and uh, giving you my opinion. Uh, because it's caffeine free, I'm hoping the taste isn't going to change too much. Uh, I don't know how how much that was, but we can kind of work out in a minute. And the other thing I had to pick up, back in 1993, the Bowman family invaded America. <laughs> yes, me, Mama Bowman, Papa Bowman, and my brother, Brother Bowman, we went to uh, Florida for two weeks, um, and we went to the Ponderosa Steakhouse uh, in Kissimmee. Uh, I think it was WLO Bronson Highway Memori Memorial Highway. I hope it's still there. If anybody lives in Kissimmee or knows of that area, tell me if that's still there. There, there was a, a Ponderosa Steakhouse and next to it was like a, a gift shop where you could walk through the steakhouse and come out into the gift shop. Uh, oh, I love those days. Love those days. And it was our very first experience of all the beautiful food that we had there for breakfast before hitting the parks, uh, everything from, you know, a, 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 a fry up, you know, like with the little baby sausages and crispy bits of bacon and eggs and all sorts of stuff. And then we would move on to uh, all the fresh fruit they had. I would have a glass or two of orange juice. Um, and then to finish it off, I would have a bowl of Kellogg's Fruit Loops with ice cold milk. And this was my first experience of Kellogg's Fruit Loops. And you really can't get them anywhere else um, other than like American import shops and various outlets. They did release them in the UK, but they tasted nothing like the proper Fruit Loops. Uh, and most of the colours were gone. They were boring, horrible, dreary colours because they couldn't use all the colourings. But that's what they should look like. You should have multiple colourings like that. Uh, and when you have American Fruit Loops, you, you know you're tasting American Fruit Loops. Don't taste like the, the English crap that they came out with. So yeah, every opportunity I get, I pick up a box of these. Normally I would pick these up in Hastings when me, Lulu and Claire go down to Hastings. Because there's a couple of American candy shops along the seafront. Uh, we haven't been down there for a while the last time we went to Hastings it was closed on the Monday morning unfortunately or maybe it just opened a little bit later uh, but since having this American candy shop in Canterbury which is the biggest candy shop I've ever seen in Kent uh, and I'll tell you one thing I don't know if you've seen the, in the news the old HMV store in Oxford Street that got raided and all the Hershey bars got taken by customs or, or someone or the health authorities uh, because I, I don't know. I don't think they paid tax on it or they didn't pay import duty. So they confiscated it all. What they had shitloads in, in that American store. They had shitloads of uh, Hershey bars on a little spindle. So um, I don't know if maybe <laughs> I shouldn't say that really, because now they're going to come and storm Canterbury <laughs> I'm sure they've paid their import duties and, and, and things like that but uh, yes anyway back to the Fruit Loops uh, now normally when you go to a shop like Tesco's or Sainsbury's and you buy a box of uh, cereal you're probably paying between like £1.50 and maybe £2, £3 for a box of cereal £10 £10 for a box of cereal <laughs> so that plus the A and W root beer and the baby roof chocolate bar, seventeen pound. So that was ten pound. I would say four pound maybe for the can and three pound for the baby roof. It's expensive. It's expensive. But uh, you pay what you get, you know, um, they have to import them. They bring them in in big pallets. It takes a while to get here. 
they have to pay shipping fees they have to pay import duty customs excise and all that kind of shit so that's why you can't buy this for like two pound in a, an american candy shop you that's why they're always expensive but it's the price you pay to have them so i'm happy anyway so yes i will be trying some of them and i'll uh, split that with me dad oh and i'll try that i'll stick that in the fridge and try it later looking forward to, try, to trying the caffeine free version fantastic anyway so that is the uh the goodies uh so i've been waffling on about sweets and candy shit for <laughs> 10 minutes we better get to the media otherwise you'll be gone right okay so of the big releases um i had delivered morbius the 4k zavi exclusive steelbook i did do an unboxing for this so if you look back a couple of videos you can see an unboxing but i decided to go for the steelbook I'm glad I did uh, because the Blu-ray does have a good cover, uh, but you, I think you have to put a, a black case with the Blu-ray to make it look better. I'm still not sold with that 4K cover, that pink cover. That is a weird choice. So I'm glad I went with a steelbook because it looks great. Um, I haven't seen the film yet, but uh, I will give you my opinion once I've seen the film. So that's Morbius. Uh, I also uh, I picked up Ambulance from Michael Bay. Um, if you're not bothered about your eardrums, then buy a Michael Bay movie. <laughs> yes, so I did see this at the cinema. I thought it was good. It was entertaining. It was loud. It was action-packed. There were scenes that reminded me of the, the, the street sh uh, shootout in Heat. Uh, the cast was good. Um, we have Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, I don't know if you got uh, how I could pronounce this bloke. Yaha Yaha Abdul Martin the second. This guy here, he was the uh, Morpheus, the new Morpheus in the new uh, Matrix movie. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching this one again. I will put this on for Papa Bowman because he didn't see it at the cinema. Now there is a steel book for this. It's a red one with like a I think it's a white or yellow cross on it, uh, which kind of mimics the back of an ambulance. Uh, I think it has a couple of bullet holes in it. Um, I want to show I really like this artwork. I really like this artwork, which is why I went with this version. Uh, although the, I think the American version of this, the uh, the 4K and the Ultra HD and this bar along here, I think it's like silver foil. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's one thing I do like about the American 4Ks, that you get this nice silver foil along the top there. Uh, they used to do it in the UK. We we had a few, quite a few titles. Um, I think Apollo, yeah, see Apollo Apollo thirteen, a UK release. We had some nice embossing up the top there, and we have like a nice reflection on that silver. Uh, and I miss that. I miss the, them not doing that. So I don't know why they decided not to do it over here anymore. Maybe it's uh, costs. But anyway, I'm glad I've got the four K. Uh, this does say uh, over 35 minutes of exclusive never before seen bonus features. It says that on the front there. This is £24.95. Um, we have a genuine Dolby Atmos soundtrack on the back here. Uh, bonus features includes Bayhem, <laughs> uh, Pedal to the Metal, Aerial Assault, Finding Ambulance, Chase Capital of the World and a Tribute to First Responders. So we have all those special bonus features there. So let's have a look inside. Let's just take a look inside. I'm glad this one came with a slipcover. Um, none of the Morbius ones actually came with a slipcover, unfortunately. So uh, I'm kind of glad I got the steelbook. So let's just remove the plastic. There we go. Okie dokie. So yes, we have the same artwork on the inside and on the back there. Uh, we have two discs uh, and we have artwork on both discs. So there is the 4K disc and there is the Blu-ray disc. Is it the same? Yeah, it looks like the same artwork. Kind of the same. Yeah, it's the same. So same artwork, same artwork on both discs. But anyway, uh, I'm glad I've got this film. I will be watching it again because I, I did enjoy it. You know, you know what you're getting when you go to a, a, a Michael Bay film? You, 
you're not going for the you know the tea intelligent the, the use of brain cells <laughs> it's just mindless fun with popcorn and just leave your brain at the door so yeah that's what he's best at so uh i'm looking forward to watching that one again now i went into the british heart foundation in canterbury they did have some blu-rays nothing that piqued my interest they had a couple of kingsman 4ks uh, which were priced at £10, which is kind of expensive for a 4K in a charity shop. Now, I understand when they had a couple of sealed ones in there. Was it last year or the beginning of the year? I think they had in the name of fire or something and a couple of other ones that were sealed. And they were priced at 18 quid, you know, because they could just kind of like sell them brand new, you know, because they were still sealed. But they had uh, a gold um, uh, secret service and gold gold compass, is it? Golden uh, gold circle, golden circle. Yeah, both of the um, the Kingsman films. Uh, but they were used, and they were ten quid each, which is quite expensive for four Ks. I've seen people pick up four Ks for like a quid, especially in um, what's the name of that shop? Uh, cash converters, which unfortunately we don't have down here. There is one in Maidstone, which was pointed out to me. Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, so next time we go to Maidstone, um, I'm definitely going to go to the uh, the cash converters, which we've never been to before. And we'll go and have a look, see if they've got anything. But yeah, in British Art Foundation, I did see this. This was £10. So I very rarely spend that much money in a charity shop. I found this. It's still factory sealed. I googled it. I couldn't find it. So I went on eBay. I couldn't find it. I went on Amazon Germany. I couldn't find it. It it was bloody hard to try and find this edition anywhere on the internet. Uh, and it is down as a limited collector's edition. So this is Realm of the Damned. You can see it's German because it's got the 18 certificate thing there. But this is uh, an animated motion comic. A limited collector's edition, as you can see, £10 there, still factory sealed. While I was in there, I watched the trailer. It kind of looks interesting. It's, it does look like a comic book, kind of like a mixture of a comic book and a bit of like Sin City kind of effect. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what it is. Um, I did have to check to see what the language was. The language is, the language is in English. So, yeah, Realm of the Damned. Um, and on the back there, everything is English. This is a German release, but all the writing on the slipcover is in English, which is very strange. Um, so I don't really know too much about it. Um, we've got language there, English, audio. Um, it's 56 minutes, so it's not it's not that long. But like, I think that's the kind of like, animation you get in the actual film. But I really don't know too much about it. Does anybody, has anybody ever heard of this? Have they got it? Um, I did see it on eBay, but it didn't have this cover. It was kind of like a standard edition. And some of those were like between six and nine pounds. But I couldn't find it with this cover or uh, the limited collector's edition. So I don't know why it's a limited collector's edition, but we're going to open it now and have a look. This is still factory sealed, which is probably why they were able to sell it at, at ten pound. Otherwise, maybe, maybe it would have been about £4. Um, I'm going to need Bobby Boxcutter because I don't want to bugger up the um, slipcover. There we go. So thank you very much, Bobby Box Boxcutter. So let's have a look. OK, so let's get rid of that. Uh, so the ratings sticker, uh, unfortunately, is not a sticker. It's actually printed. So that can't be removed. See, then we have that. That is the version that I saw. That's the version that I saw all over e eBay and, uh, and, and Google. Uh, and I couldn't find it with like the limited slipcover. Weird. Uh, and th even this is um, st uh, still sealed. So, yeah, and it comes with a clear case, which is really nice. Okay, so oh, we've got some we've got some goodies as well. Okay, so we have uh, one disc. Obviously, it's only like fifty odd minutes. We have a bit of inside artwork in there. 
there's the disc. Maybe it's just hard to find with a slip cover. Because like I say, this is the version that I've seen everywhere. Uh, what is this? So okay, so we have a we have a book. We have a nice little thick glossy book. So I'll take it, it tells you all about the story and everything. Uh, and it's all in English. Normally when you get a book, uh, a, a Blu-ray from Germany, it's all in like, German. But it's all in English. But yeah, look, it looks good. I must admit, it, and, and the um, it looked very um, stylistic in the trailer. So I'm definitely going to give this one a go um, and see what it's like. And it's like there's even merchandise as well. So yeah, it's a nice little book there. Uh, and then we get we get a load of uh, like postcards, character cards. So uh, that's on that's on all of them. But on the back there we have like all different characters. So we get uh, I think that's probably their name down there, and then we get all about the character down the bottom. Yeah, Balur the dragon. Yeah, and then it tells you all about that character. This is very unusual. <laughs> I might have to cover that one up. <laughs> yeah, very, very unusual. Never seen, never seen this or heard of it before. Some nice little postcards there and a nice little book in the package. And uh, yeah, uh, and a slip cover. Like I say, maybe it's rare because you maybe you can't find it with a slip cover. But anyway, um, there we go. So that is Realm of the Damned. Uh, so uh, if anybody knows of this or familiar with this or have, have watched it, please let me know because I'm, I'm really curious. Uh, and it says at the bottom there, uh, at the top, the monsters have won. Our world now belongs to them. There's no one left to protect us from what lurks in the dark. No one is coming to save us. Sounds good. So uh, I definitely will be giving that one a go. So that's the pickups and deliveries for myself. Um, I am going to be doing another giveaway. Uh, and it's two items. And uh, this is going to be for two people. So... Um, I'm giving away the Blu-ray copy of Michael Bay's Ambulance with a slipcover. And also the Blu-ray copy of Morbius, unfortunately without a slipcover. Okay, so uh, two people, one person can win one of these. So like we did with the Batman, which I will be drawing in the next day or two, all you need to do to be in with a chance of uh, maybe winning one of these uh, anywhere in the comments below, if you put, if you want this one, put hashtag ambulance. Uh, and if you want this one, hashtag Morbius. Uh, and if you want to enter for both, then just put hashtag ambulance and then hashtag Morbius in the same comment. You know what I mean? If you've done it with the Batman one, you'll know. So yes, so uh, you can win... Uh, one of these uh, for one person and one of them for another person. Uh, if you get lottery odds, you might even win them both. <laughs> so they are in for a giveaway. So there, I hope you enjoyed today's video. That is it. I am off to see Elvis. Thank you very much. No, that's terrible. I'm sorry, Daryl. Yes, <laughs> I'm going to see Elvis tomorrow. Uh, really looking forward to it. I've just this moment had a text through from Jamie. I think he enjoyed it. And uh, I will be doing my review for that in the next day or two. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video today. It's been nice and sunny mo on most part. That's why I went out for quite a bit of it. But uh, this video here is, is ending up at home, is ending up longer than the actual bloody Blu-ray hunt. That's because I was waffling on about food for like 20 minutes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. And I'll see you all on the next video very soon. Bye bye.